You know those times when you're out thrifting and you come across the perfect chair. It's solid wood, there are no broken pieces on it, all the spindles are there, it has gorgeous carved details on the back of it, and then you look at the seat. And the seat has a very damaged or even missing caning on the seat. That's such a bummer, isn't it? No worries, I'm gonna show you how I fix that. You'll need a clothesline rope, a drill with a large drill bit, E6000 glue, and Gorilla Tape. Begin the project by drilling the holes. For my chair, I drilled every other hole that had been there for the previous caning that was damaged. I drilled out every other hole, and I even made a mistake. You'll see that at the end. Once all the drilling is done, grab your shop vac and clean up the mess. To begin weaving, first of all, find the middle point of the rope. You do that by folding the rope in half, and then where the fold is, stick a pin in it or mark it with something very light, like a pencil. The next step is actually easier to do and watch than it is to say. Trust me, I have a hard time explaining this, but it's simple. You're gonna use the end of your rope and come up through the center hole in the front of the rocker or chair Come all the way up and pull the rope through to the point that you mark the center. Then take that end and go to the centermost hole in the back of the rocker and go down to the underside and pull it all the way through. Once it's all the way through, take that same end and go to the hole to the left here in the video and pull it up from the underside to the top side and pull it all the way through. Then take that end and go back up to the top of the chair and through that hole from the top side to the underside and pull it through. This is gonna be a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Once you get to the end, you're gonna use the rest of your rope to do the other side of the chair. The next step is to weave in the opposite direction, and this is easy. You just take the end that you just came up with and you go over, under, over, under, over, under, and then you go down into that hole after you've pulled it all the way tight. Be sure to keep this part nice and tight. When you get to the end, you just use your rope and you go through from the top side to the underside, and then you come up through the hole that is next to the hole that you just came down from the underside to the top side and then you'll continue weaving only you'll do it in the opposite pattern as you did before if you went over on the previous row then you'll go under so that it's opposite one another this will give the seat strength and stability Continue weaving this way, going back and forth and over and under, making sure that each row is woven opposite to the previous row. Here you'll see I'm going down into from the top side to the underside, and then I pull that end up through the hole from the underside to the top side. See that? That's basically what you're doing, back and forth, back and forth. With each row that you've woven, make sure that it's pulled very tight. You don't want it to become loose because it's too hard to go back and tighten it. It's easiest to tighten it as you go.
you'll see a mistake that I made here. I forgot to check on the previous row, row of whether I was going over, under, over, under, and I did it the wrong way. So I had to pull it out and do it all over again. The two ends have to go down the same hole, and I wasn't quite sure how to do this, but I grabbed a kebab stick from my kitchen, and I used it to push both of the ends through that last hole. You can see the end result of going down one hole and then coming up in the hole directly next to that previous hole. Here I'm cutting the ends that I pushed through the same hole at the very end. I tie a single knot really tight and then I tie a second knot really tight. You want to make sure you get this nice and secure. Then I grabbed my E6000 glue and I put a little dollop of glue on that to hold that knot 